Jam School Remix. Here's an ingenious impromptu money miracle from friend of the show and YouTube prankster all-star, Rich Ferguson. We'll try an experiment, and uh, we'll just, it requires a card. Oh, that'd be a good card for you. Oh, thank you. there. Pretty good, right? Isn't that amazing? totally suspended. Isn't that freaking right? incredible? Look at this. Imagine the card's not there. Isn't that just awesome? <laughs> That's not the trick. But check this out. Watch. I'm going to try a small experiment. Now, I fold this in a particular way, and you'll see why in a second. That's so you can see more of what's going on. Watch. I'm going to put the dollar inside of here. And normally it's done like this, but I'm going to fold the front down so you can actually see what's going on. Watch. You're going to verify everything. Watch. The pencil goes through, the pin goes in. You can see the back. Uh -huh. You can see the front, underneath, on top. Everything's fair, right? Right. Watch. Go ahead and shove that down. Just push it right through the dollar and the card. Just shove it through. All right, there you go. Perfect. Watch. That looks good, right? Yeah. Go ahead pull it out. Or pull it all the way through either way. It doesn't matter. Watch. If you're done, just put a hole right through it. You can uh -huh. see right through it. Yes. Right? Watch. Whoa. <laughs> right? <laughs> nope. That's good. <laughs> so strange. The thing I really do like about this is I did it with a playing card. Yes. You could do it with a business card. Right. You could do it with a napkin. You could do it with an index card. I like it with a playing card because of the damage it's left in a playing card is very visual and it's also stiff and you, you feel that going through. And then when you present you present it, you can see through the whole the whole time because it's so stiff. That and was the convincer for me because I, no lie, could see straight through right. to your body on the other yeah, side. exactly. I'm just going to go ahead and use a different card. Fold it in half. The dollar goes in. And you do fold over the front, literally, so they can see. I stick the pin through. You do want the sharp part. <laughs> you stick it right through. Watch. That now, looks pretty good. That's the part that blows me away, is that from all angles, it is 100% completely fair. It's very fair, and that's because this is folded over to kind of help hold things together, because you're going to see in a second, it's very unfair. It's not going through the dollar whatsoever. It's going through a trap door we've created in the dollar. So I'll just pull the shield off, and you'll see. This is the part where it breaks your heart, and it's you just actually going, see mine. It's going through it. Right? It's going through it, but just in an area that's out of sight and out of mind. So and the cool part, it's done in a way that kind of creates a trap door. So when you open up the dollar, it's almost completely gone. Now the folds of this, to do this correctly, it is very important. You don't, you don't fold it in half. You fold it in a way that gives you proportions where that area is below the face of this. So It, it looked to me like you matched up the T of V and the C from America. So if you, the T and the C roughly touch right sure. there. It is flexible, I mean, you can go a little bit lower. Literally just tear it. All right, so this is the, this is the impromptu. Right, right, this, right on that seam and you're, and you're ready to go. You it's still same, can't see it. You still can't see it. You do, I just made a semicircle right there. It's a huge wave. I can put a marker to that. That's huge. Let's say I want to use an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors. So you can fold it this way, but then when you're done, you're going to have a crease in the dollar. Right. So you can, if you want, put it on the surface and cut in the middle of this dark seal right here. Now, at this point, you're going to find your special hole, squeeze on each side of the pin to form the card around it a little bit. Gotcha. That's important. And then from there, you can show the bottom, you can show the top, and let them look down inside. They yep. can't see the gimmick. Right, so here's the best part, the part where you get the crunch. All right, Erica, you ready? Hold tight. Oh, so satisfying. It so obviously went through. Yeah! At that point, you pull off the card, place it on the table, and then you're gonna turn this sideways so you can grab behind. You're putting your thumb right on the gimmick. Right. And you're opening it up. That's it. And you can roll it forward. And that is there. so awesome! Instantly. Huge thanks to Rich Ferguson for slumming with us on Scam School. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel, which has absolutely exploded in the six years since he first joined us on Scam School. Scam School remixes the best of 10 years and 500 plus episodes of Scam School. Dive into the whole back catalog and learn two to three times faster with time compressed episodes. What took us a decade will take you maybe two years, maybe two months if you're really, really dedicated. Dive in.